Hey everyone and welcome back. So I wanted to show you how I started to actually build out like the profile page because I think that's a very interesting section as well. So when a user actually hits the home button, let's actually go to home right now. If they've hit this uh, kind of profile picture, what will happen is they will go straight to the profile page. Now on this profile page, there are several different options we have. If there was a login CTA, if they weren't logged in, then they would actually go to sign up or log in depending on their scenario. But if they actually were logged in, they would come to this page. And what happens here is I've set up like a header that has like this kind of like overlay effect, you know, kind of just giving a little more depth to the application. Now over here we have like a CTA. Now this header isn't uh, one of the ones that we currently use within our components, and we can actually bring one in if we wanted to. So let's actually do that. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a duplicate over here, and I wanna show you. So I, I found out that, you know, while I was continuing to experiment and build out this application, I found out, hey, like this is an interesting component that I never necessarily thought about. But I think we could actually recreate this Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna place this in here. So we have our component, let's get that, there we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually fill some of this information in again. And I've been thinking a lot about what the style of the back button is as well. Let's change that instance. So as you can tell, this is how I'm starting to use our design system. This is where, it's, where you can tell it's really powerful. I don't have to like go and search for new icons. I know which ones I'm planning to use most of the time. I wanna go back to my layers panel so I can see what I'm selecting. So I have a background white here and you know, I was using yellow. And there we go. So now we have like a, a different uh, yellow background. You saw that I kind of had that effect going. So we can still recreate that if we wanted to. So we can create a frame that encompasses all of this. If I hold command and I stretch that frame, it's not gonna stretch everything else. So if you can see, I'm not holding command and I'm stretching that frame. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it above there. I'm actually going to change that to 15. I'm gonna change this to 15. And I'm going to make sure this background is white. So like we still get the same type of effect that we had before. Now we may need to do a couple of different things. That's gonna be fine for now. What we can do is we can also set the background color of this actual frame to yellow. It's not gonna make a difference because we have all these different options here. And this is kind of acting as our background color right now. So I'm gonna just hide this border. And there you go, like we have like another variation of the header. I like this kind of yellow that we've been using. So uh, what I've decided thus far for the profile page is to have a profile picture. They can edit my profile, which would probably bring up a modal. Like yet again, like we didn't necessarily think about all these different things and where they'll be placed. And once we start kind of piecing these things together, even at the high fidelity stage, we're noticing that, you know, we even forgot some stuff while we're sketching. So I have like edit my profile over here. I thought about interest. What happens if I have no interest selected? Like I could hypothetically create an account and not have selected anything. So over here, as you can tell, I have like the same type of CTA that we've seen before. I'm gonna go into my content. I've noticed that, hey, maybe we should create like a button with a, a little plus sign there. That makes much more sense. So add my interest would kind of push them to do that. Even edit. So I kind of have like the secondary CTA keeping just in line with the consistency. I have things like uh, my payment information, my address. There's probably more uh, cards that we could add here. And for the user to get back, they would just select that back button. Now there's another section right here that is showcasing what happens if the user is actually logged in and they have all their interests set. So I, I haven't created like a frame to hold these yet, but this is like something uh, where we may be using this particular card over and over again and in this same manner. So we may make like a frame. What we can do here is we can create like a column. 
So I can just um, just go and encompass it within a frame and call it left column. You can set that to auto layout and it's gonna be like 16 and it's gonna grow and shrink based off of the sizes of the elements within. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna call this right column. So now we have two frames. I'm gonna also create an auto layout for that. And then we can actually take these together and encompass them in the frame and just call them color cards to column. So now we've created another recipe over here that we can probably reuse. As you can see, now this will change based off of if we add new elements or not. So let's actually take that over here. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create an auto layout for that. So let's push that to the top. Oops. So we have our right column push to the top. So if we add like say another um, text image and button component that we have here, it'll start pushing all the other components down. Same with if I add another one over here. So let's see what we can do here for this. Okay, I'm gonna remove that. And I'm just gonna say something like vinyl. We noticed that, you know, we uh, need to just Bring that lower. We can change it to whatever color we want. We could probably do like maybe like an orange or something like that. If we were to do the same over here, let's go to the image selector that we have. Ooh, I already have glasses. So you can kind of go back to the components and um, add new images if you want. So I have like a MacBook and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write product Activity. So right now, Figma is not in a place to handle like auto layouts really well. Uh, like the frames sometimes won't grow properly. Uh, same with just regular frames and components, but it'll eventually get there. What I'm gonna do actually is I am going to like, maybe I will like create like green. If you see, like I can like switch these around. I can like, if I use my arrow keys on the parent container, I can just switch these around. And that's the great thing about auto layout. You'll notice that, wow, that spacing looks really messed up. So I'm just gonna have to manually do that. It honestly beats like recreating the wheel over and over again. And there you go. Like we kind of have our own like Pinterest style stacking of cards. So that's what I've done here. I've started creating this. And this is like, obviously this can be a recipe that we now use over and over again. I have like another recipe that I had created before, which is like, you know, having these little icon text containers. So what I can do is I can encompass these in a frame and create another kind of auto layout or something like that. But that is my approach so far for profile. And that's how you can use uh, components if you need them here. You can also actually, like if you wanted to say, let's make a duplicate of this and you want to select this component. So I've selected that. I can go to my instance and I can see all the different related components to these color cards. So there's text image button, just text and image. So if I wanted just the text and the image, I can get that really easily. Everything sized in really nicely. Same with this. If I wanted, um, say just, uh, what do we got here? Text and button. I can get that really easily. I don't want this one because, you know, maybe these are growing related cards. So I have text cards grow, I have color cards fixed, I have a text embedded fixed version that we can uh, create. So that is how you can use instances to, you know, just really bring in more variety in your designs, but also uh, just to get the correct component that you need really quickly without having to like copy and paste and stuff like that. So. That is how we've built out the profile page thus far.